Hey everyone, I forgot to do an intro today, so here are some thrilling selfies of the look we're doing today with the Modern Renaissance palette. <laughs> I've already primed and I am jumping in with the lightest shade in the palette, Tempera, just applying that to the brow bone to give us a nice pop. I did have to jump into another palette to get a matte color to set my eyeshadow primer with, so that is what I'm doing right now. You need something a couple shades lighter than your skin tone for that. And then I am going in with the shade Raw Sienna. This is going to be my transition shade. Using that on a fluffy brush, concentrating the colors in the upper crease, and then blending outward and upward from there. As you can see, once the color is distributed, I like to kind of blend it upward more, make sure the edges are really soft. Then I'm going in with the shade Love Letter, which is very frisky for me. It is like a fuchsia matte shade. Taking that on a little bit of a smaller blending brush, I'm going to be applying this to the outer two-thirds of the lid out to meet my inner V. And then again, as the product leaves the brush, I'm going to blend it in further to my inner corner. Not going to take this one as high as we did Raw Sienna. And then finally, to really add that delicious depth to our look, I'm going to go in with the shade Cypress Umber. This is a nice, deep, rich brown and I'm applying that to the outer corner and again just blending inward once most of the product has left the brush. Then for the lid color I'm going in with Primavera and I am wetting this with a setting spray. Primavera means spring in Spanish in case you were wondering or if you didn't know. And then I'm just going to apply that all over the lid taking it out to meet my outer V colors. Absolutely adore that shade, by the way, guys. Then I just went back in and touched up the Cypress Umber because sometimes when you add lid shades and blend, your colors can get lost. Then I'm going to highlight the inner corner, just adding a nice pop there, again using the shade Tempera, the same color that we used on our brow bone. Then we're gonna start on the lower lash line. I did do the rest of my makeup off camera, by the way, because this is just an eyeshadow tutorial, but taking raw sienna, starting in the outer corner of the lower lash line, and then blending inward as the product leaves the brush, just keeping it most of the color on the outer corner. Then I went ahead and tight lined with my favorite brown liner. You can use any brown liner that you had. And I also applied some of that liner to the roots of my lower lashes, avoiding the waterline to keep the eye nice and open, and then I used a pencil brush to blend that out, again, keeping the concentration of color on the outer corner and blending inward as the product kind of dis disappears, you know what I'm saying? And then I really love using this technique. I'm just going to make my lash line look nice and thick and voluminous by applying some of that deep brown shade just flicking up right at the lash line. Then I'm going to apply a nice dark black liquid liner. You can use whatever one you have. Mine is the NYC liner, and I'm just really gently press pressing that right at the lash line. I'm not taking it high or anything. We're just doing this for definition. Then going back in with Cypress and Umber, and then just kind of repeating the stuff we did before the lash line. And what this is gonna do is make it so that there is a nice, beautiful brown shade kind of peeking out from behind your liner. It's gonna make it look a lot more voluminous and smoked out, and I just love the effect it gives to the lash line. Very soft and romantic. Then I curled my lashes, applied some mascara, and you are done with this eyeshadow look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna be playing with the Modern Renaissance palette more because I haven't fallen in love with it like the rest of the internet. Please don't hate me for saying that. Let me know if you wanna see more looks. I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I always forget to say that, but I would love to have you here. Bye! Shit's getting weird.